I'm given the zeros of a function that is a polynomial. And I don't know what the function of, or the polynomial is. I just know what the zeros are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the zeros to tell me what the function is. Um, and uh, a couple things I need to remember is our zeros are where our graph is our um, where our graph doesn't always cross. So where our graph um, you could say gives us the output of zero. So it's like our x-intercepts, right? So we know we can write our x-intercept also as a set of linear factors. So one thing you guys need to remember is, you know, if here's our zeros, I can write this as a set of linear factors as x minus zero, x minus two, and x minus five, right? Because remember, if we were, remember if we were uh, taking a function and we were factoring it to find the zeros, once you get to this point, you say x minus zero, x minus zero equals zero, so x equals zero. Then you say x minus two is equal to zero, so you add two, and you get x equals two. Well, that's where that two is, right? So what we're doing is we're going backwards. So if I say my zero is two, the factor is x minus two. Same thing for the negative five. Well, the next thing I need to do from here is I need to FOIL. So we can do the FOIL face, for those of you that like the FOIL face, All right? That's my little guy. X times X is uh, X squared. X times negative five is a negative five X. Negative two times, negative two, okay, let's see. X times X is X squared. X, I didn't do it. X times negative five is negative five X. I was actually doing the FOIL technique. Um, and then let's do negative two times X is a negative two X, and negative two times negative five is a positive 10. These combine to give you X squared uh, minus seven X plus 10. Don't really forget, we're multiplying by my value of X minus zero, which is just X equals zero. Okay, so I just kind of foiled that over here. It makes it look like that. Then I need to make sure I distribute my x to every term. So 0 equals x cubed minus 7x squared plus 10x. Okay. And that's how you find the uh, polynomial function when given the zeros.